Okay, and welcome to this edition of the Native News Update. I'm your host for today's program, Paul Domain. Many of the stories read here can also be found at our website at IndianCountryNews.com or in the featured section of the TV studio at IndianCountryTV.com. Here are the news stories for the day from the Associated Press and other Native news sources. Elected and spiritual leaders of several Sioux tribes in the Dakotas are planning to meet to discuss their 122-year-old claim for return of the Black Hills land in a lawsuit that runs counter to some of tribal government's positions on the issue. The tribes have refused to take money awarded in old court cases for the improper taking of the Black Hills, instead insisting on return of land in the area. A class action lawsuit filed in April on behalf of some members now seeks to force the money awarded in the court cases. That case was recently dismissed at the lower court level. Tribal chairmen say spiritual leaders from the Sioux tribes will meet later this month to pray and discuss the issue. The Great Plains Tribal Chairmen's Association will then meet later to talk about the lawsuit and the Black Hills claim. The state of Oregon will finance most of the costs for removing four Klamath River dams to help salmon under a bill signed by the Oregon governor this week. Meanwhile, federal officials met in Klamath Falls with representatives of Pacific Corp and the states of California and Oregon. The parties must have a binding agreement by September to restore 300 miles of spawning habitat on what was once the third biggest salmon producer on the West Coast. A preliminary agreement that serves as a framework for the negotiations both guarantees and limits the amount of irrigation water that will be available to farmers in the Klamath Basin and offers hundreds of millions of dollars for salmon restoration work and research. Indian tribes, farmers and salmon fishermen who have long battled over sharing scarce water in the Klamath Basin between fish and farms. They all praised the governor for, this, uh, for, for his work to make the dam removal a reality. Recently, the National Indian Gaming Association joined with the National Congress of American Indians at their annual mid-year conference in Niagara Falls, New York, to strategize on action by the 111th Congress. Ernie Stevens, the current chairman of NIGA, says it's apparent that on the top of the agenda continues to be the fight to defend tribal sovereignty. He says the Employees Free Choice Act of 2009 or Senate Bill 560 was recently introduced to both the House and Senate and was offered to establish an efficient system to enable employees to form, join, or assist labor organizations and is applicable to tribal governments despite provisions that exempt all other types of government, uh, governmental entities in the U.S. While Indian country has a long history of support for unions, Stevens said we must stringently oppose this bill uh, in its present form because of the erosion of tribal sovereignty. The General Mills Champions for Healthy Kids program, in partnership with the American Dietetic Association, has awarded a half million dollars in grants to community-based organizations across the U.S. for programs that support young people living healthy, active lifestyles. The grants program awarded $10,000 to 50 nonprofit organizations, schools across the United States to develop fun, interactive programs that incorporate a fitness and nutrition component and operate under the expert guidance of a registered dietitian. One of those recipients included the Taos Pueblo Day School in New Mexico, which provides weekly health and nutrition classes with an emphasis on diabetes education for American Indian children. The program provides kids with weekly cooking classes during summer camp and daily recreational activities. Kiva Records is proud to announce the release of a new album of spiritual songs recorded by Bill Center, a Lakota elder and spiritual leader. Center recorded his album titled Oglala Lakota to honor the people of the Oglala Lakota Nation. The album reflects his roots in both the American Indian spiritual tradition and his Christian heritage. Most of the songs are sung in the Lakota language, including a handful of old Christian hymns. Center was born in 1935 and raised at Woundini on the Pine Ridge Reservation in South Dakota. His father, William Center, was an Episcopalian minister who had him singing in church at age 12. Oglala Lakota is available on the net at kivarecords.com. Uh, Huron Women donated $5 million to the Crazy Horse Memorial Foundation July 14th during a ceremony at 
the Black Hills site. The gift from Donna Muffy Christian is among the largest in the project's 61-year-old history. She and her husband, Paul Christian, sold First Western Banks last year, but still own First Western Agency. Donna Christian also serves on several boards and is chairman and director of the Christian Group in Huron, uh, South Dakota. The first installment of $2.5 million will be used to start the Crazy Horse Centennial Fund. The principal will be invested, but interest from the endowment will be used on the memorial being carved in the likeness of Crazy Horse that is intended to honor all American Indians. If you're out and around on the powwow circuit this weekend, many which are being held across the United States, we hope you enjoy yourself and stay safe until the next issue of the Native News Update right here at Indian Country TV, or check it out at YouTube under the username Ska Bewis or at www.indiancountrynews.com site in the iCountry video section with the daily news program. Or better yet, pick up the embedded digital placer, uh, player and place it in your own website or link to us through Facebook, Twitter, or MySpace or all kinds of other places where we're showing up. Your search engine should give you several options to find us and watch us on a regular base basis, and we hope you enjoy your weekend. And that is the latest roundup of news from Indian Country on this edition of the Native News Update. We want to thank our underwriters for helping us with this broadcast and you for joining with us again. Miigwech.